So it took New Horizons about nine and a half years to get to Pluto, but that pales in comparison to the 16 years it took to get a mission on the launch pad in the first place. By 2000, we were up to our fifth Pluto mission concept, and that was Pluto Kuiper Express. When that was canceled, the Planetary Society mobilized a postcard campaign and encouraged its members to write in in support of the mission. I worked with the school system here, uh, educating some of the teachers and making sure the science director uh, was aware of uh, many of the programs, including Project Pluto, and what people could do on an individual basis. And I am very pleased and proud to have participated in this program. We're finally going to get our first glimpse of a brand new world, uh, thanks to the efforts of countless individuals and groups around the world, and of course, the Planetary Society. I hope you're enjoying those pictures. It's all because of members like you supporting us. We're still working on things like this today. The focus isn't Pluto anymore, it's Europa. It's getting humans to Mars. It's getting a sample of Mars robotically back to the Earth. Every day the advocacy program is working to make these aspirations a reality. And they depend, as did Pluto, on the involvement of every single society member and volunteer. Let's not let Pluto be the one example we have of a successful mission. Let's get to Europa. Let's get to Mars. We have a community of people who support space exploration. People around the world just love space. It brings out the best in us. It is the only way to answer those two deep questions. Where did we come from and are we alone? If you want to answer those two questions, space is the place. Thank you. <laughs>